chapter 1 and verse 8 but you shall receive power say I receive. I receive everything to be received can be rejected he said you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you we began to discuss this yesterday and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem in all Judea Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth the Bible says that to be a witness remember our discussion a validator a defender of the purposes of Christ it takes more than desire you will need power the power of the Holy Ghost that it takes more than desire to do business with God in this kingdom there are many well-meaning believers there are many well-meaning preachers, many well-meaning business people. But the possibilities of the kingdom are not only controlled by God's desire, they are controlled by the availability of his power that you access. Are we together? Hmm. Psalm 92 and verse 10, my spirit is fired up tonight. Parush kalabragaduziyata but my horn shall thou exalt. Please just increase the volume a little for me. Like the horn of a unicorn. The horn of a unicorn never faces down. Even when the head is down. Even when a unicorn is down. The horn does not face down. It says, my horn shall thou exalt in the similitude of that of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Isaiah chapter 40, please. From verse 1 to 5. Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort ye, comfort ye Kenya, says your God. Verse 2. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she had received of, of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. We are reading to verse 5, 3. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. For every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough place is plain five hallelujah and the glory of the lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the lord has spoken it there is a dimension of glory that is coming upon this nation Please listen to me. There is a dimension of the effulgence of the power, the grace of God that will tabernacle upon men and women in the similitude of the prophecy of Joel. He said, blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm upon my holy mountain. Then he begins to describe a type of people. Man, terrible and great, he says. That it shall come to pass in the last days I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions upon your handmaids, he says. Listen, let me tell you this. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. The days that we are coming into are not days of discussions, excuses and explanations. We are in the days of his power. And the Bible says in the days of his power that the people shall be willing. That we will sponsor possibilities that are not affordable in the world of men. By an agency that is not human. Psalm 63. It was David who hungered to see the power and the glory of God so much from verse 1. 
And David himself began to cry and said, Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. The purpose for the hunger, verse 2. To see your power and your glory revealed in my life the same way I saw in church. When I came to church, I saw the sick healed. Transport that reality to my home, oh God. When I came to church, I saw that with one prophetic word, a man's life changed. I want to see your power and your glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. I desire to see your power, your glory, the effulgence of your wisdom to dumbfound principalities and powers, a species of people that defy the limitations of life. Empowered by the spirit that every church in Kenya is on fire. Doesn't matter which one you go to. Fire from everywhere. You cast out a demon from one church before he lands in another assembly. He's sent by the power of the Holy Spirit that you fortify the spiritual borders of your city by a dimension of power. He says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 82 and verse 5. The psalmist cries a tragedy we must change tonight. He says, they know not, neither will they understand. Verse 5. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. The next verse says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. The next verse says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Someone shout no way. that the music ministers in this city will lift up the string and it will be like it were in the days of David the sound of anything that comes from you can heal can deliver can bless you become a living wonder a testament of the lordship of Christ over a territory So Isaiah 61 says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. It's a messianic prophecy. First for Jesus and then for his church. Because, because the Lord had ordained, anointed me to number one, preach glad tidings. It takes more than understanding the gospel to preach glad tidings. It takes the anointing. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. This is more than psychology. It takes the anointing to heal the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty. Isn't it amazing that a man can look free but is bound? Says scripture. To proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. It says to proclaim the acceptable year. It takes the anointing to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. Then by the anointing to comfort all who mourn. Verse 3. To appoint. Do you know what that means? To select the day that it will happen. To appoint does not mean to suggest. To choose a day that you can say today should be your day of liberty. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. It says to give them beauty. Beauty is a gift that can be given. For ashes it says. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called oaks or trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. This is the heritage of the sons in light. We have come to insist tonight. Let me tell you the truth. If you believe that which God is saying, your life will change in a way that will surprise you.
I became tired of religion. I became tired of church. Not in a negative way. I read my Bible. And as I listened to preachers, I was disturbed. Because what I read was not what I was seeing. I left church confused. Where is the grace that produces the miracles? Why do we have to keep explaining and explaining and prophesying and nothing happens to the people? We say God bless you, they return with no testimony. God lift you and they return with no testimony. I speak that your life will change and they return with no testimony. It frustrated me. I asked many pastors questions and they could not answer. Some said I didn't have faith. I believed I did. You see, one of the ways the anointing of your destiny calls you is through dissatisfaction. You begin to sense that I, I may not know what the problem is, but I know something must be wrong. This cannot be it. And that hunger drove me to search scripture. I will never forget the day I placed my hand on the book we call God's Generals. When I opened it, it was as if I was reading about my brothers. Literally. When I read, I said, this is it. The Bible says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Don Wen got it well. Though we are few. We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. We may be few, but there is an army of hungry and angry men saying this cannot be the way it should be. The way we beg people to come to church is a sign that something is wrong. Because the Bible says all nations will flow. The way we go ask and plead and say just be patient. The house of God... And so my hunger began to rise to the heavens and I cried I said Lord there has to be more this is not you this does not look like you where is your power and your glory where is the wisdom why is it so hard to save sinners you waste your time and talk for hours and at the end of your conversation they say I will think about it my God what were you saying then he said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power, not the suggestion of God. There is an ability upon it that compels the listener. To the point that believers are used to the word not working. It shows by our testimonies. We didn't expect it to work. We are surprised it worked. And I said, Lord, you must reveal yourself to me. I cannot tell a generation lies. There has to be a dimension of God that we must reveal. We are the preservers. This baton has been passed to us and we cannot fail. Listen to me. The hunger of days became weeks. Weeks became months. Can I tell you the truth? God loves you, but his presence and counters are not cheap. It will take hunger that is greater than your desire for anything to really find God. We, we have a, a generation that cheapens encounters as if they just happen. No, nothing of value comes cheap. He allows your hunger to stretch you. One night, here is my sermon tonight. My hunger had reached the heavens. I knew if he did not come, I may die and there he walked into my room the king of kings himself my hunger had gotten to the heavens I was not interested in church fame I didn't want ministry I wanted an encounter something I could live and die for I was tired of saying things I was not sure of preaching something you go back and say I hope I'm right no that which we have seen 
that which we have heard that which our hands have handled of the word of life it says but i know whom i have believed i'm not trying to guess i am persuaded when the lord jesus appeared to me what is the other gentleman that played keyboard with you yesterday is he here please call him two of you can do it together so that there's something about the strings and the spirit of prophecy it says I will reveal my sayings upon the harp now my hunger had gotten to the heavens and when Jesus came now please look up the strange thing pastor when I saw Jesus I knew respectfully that many people represented representing him did not know him I was in shock this was the man I'd been preaching about Jesus the son of the living God any part of him was what you're looking forever you know you cannot look at a human being forever if I look at your legs after a few minutes I'm tired I find something else to look at not Jesus brilliance I told you yesterday he never spoke a word but he said many things that was when I learned that the language of God is not English, it's not Hebrew, it's not Latin. The language of God is light. He does not have to talk to speak. His light is a voice. It speaks to you. Did the Bible not say the entrance of thy word? Give it light. And he stretched forth his hands towards me. When he stretched forth his hands towards me, the kind of light that came from his hand i stand before god kenya how i did not die is something i will ask him when we meet him in glory no man can receive that level of light and be alive and everything entered me and then he left i don't know how he left but he left and my life changed I picked up my Bible and there was a straight line from Genesis to Revelation I saw things I never studied I understood what Paul said how by revelation the mystery was made known unto me please listen very carefully there is a reason why I say what I say in one other encounter the Lord appeared to me and said son from today I give you my presence as a gift and then I saw this angel standing before me and he said this angel will walk with you and I said what is his name and he said he is called the angel of the Lord's presence wow this angel that's what is responsible for the miracles and the signs the wonders the impartations and then in one other encounter the Lord gave me an instruction he said every city and every territory and every nation I send you to there must be people in that meeting that the light that came from me to you must you cannot leave that nation and that territory until some of those people please help them It's the spirit of revival. It is a restoration of the act, the ordinances of God. It is not the bragging of a man. This has nothing to do with being a man of God and ministry. It is the privilege of being the host of the presence and the power of God for a generation for a territory because when he wants to minister to Israel he finds Jacob he sends a word to Jacob and then it is lighted upon Israel and every time he grants the opportunity to come to a nation it is more than a church meeting is the coming that opens the two lift gates of a nation 
and begins to allow spiritual realities to find expression even by the spirit now the lord is that spirit is hers and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then he says but we all with faces unveiled beholding us in a mirror the glory the shekinah of god that we are changed from one dimension of glory to the other tonight you are immersed in a sea of his glory the glory that excels the glory that can change the glory that can turn around the captivity of ages within a moment within the twinkling of an eye there are men and women of God here like Saul the son of Kish who are about to encounter anointings graces mantles for their destinies you've seen it in your dreams you've heard it it's been prophesied to you but let me tell you tonight is the night where you will drink of the wine that needs to be released for this generation Kenya the old wine is finished Kenya I stand and speak by the apostolic and the prophetic behold the new wine the wine the feast is not over the new wine comes to you comes to your altar women rising in the strength of Deborah women rising in the grace of Esther men like Elijah time will fail me the Bible says to talk of men like Gideon Jephthah Barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness stop the mouth of lions Africa that rejected stone the shofar is blowing that that which is dead will come back again to life whether it is for ministry whether it is for business we are about to enforce the reality of the life and the power of the spirit there will be a demonstration of the possibilities of the kingdom across the length and the breadth of Kenya in a way and manner hear me I prophesy to you there is a new anointing there are young people arising from every church from every campus young people by the spirit under the influence of the spirit they will have encounters God is bringing balance to them the labor of the fathers of faith in this land have risen as a memorial to heaven and the time has come so we join the heavens to blow the shofar over Kenya arise to a new dimension in the spirit where you are just open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit don't be distracted tonight your life will never be the same your nation will never be the same. Harushalatos hebarandas kibadiyash.
casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts. It's what I've come to do. Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts. It's what I've come to do. In your name, we will rise. I don't know. You reign on high. We will rise. In your name, I don't know. You reign on high. I don't know. Listen, give me five minutes if you can, and then we'll stand back and I'll begin to minister. We'll not take much of your time. Let me just share with you a very big key. Please sit. I want to share with you one secret that can grant a man access to host the power of God. Jesus began to teach us on the mysteries of the kingdom. And he said, The hour has come, listen very carefully, that the Son of Man be glorified. And then the very next verse he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, the door that leads to life is death. The door that leads to power is death. More than your fasting, more than your prayer, more than your Bible study, the price for all of God is all of you. More than your money, more than your preaching, more than your intellect, you want all of God. The price is all of you. Here's how Paul says it. Chapter 12 and verse 1, Romans. I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer your bodies, not your spirits, as living sacrifices. Holy unto God, he calls it your reasonable act of worship. The fire never falls until there is sacrifice upon the altar. The men that God will use in these days are not just men of intelligence, they are not just preachers, not just men of oratory. Men who are dead. Only dead men can carry God. The weight of God is too heavy for you to carry in your life. You need to pass through a realm called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Madam, the anointing is on you. Look at me. Touch this woman for me. I don't know who this woman is. But I'm seeing this woman step into a prophetic dimension in the spirit. Nevertheless, I leave. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. He says, the life that I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. No eye has seen, the Bible says. No ear has heard, neither has it come into the heart of man. That which God has in store, not for prayer warriors, not for fasting giants, for them that love him. Not them that use him for fame. Not them that use him for a name. Death is the price for life. Hear what I say preachers. Nothing will ever cover the lack of the presence of God. Our pews will remain empty until we sustain the ability to host God. We need to present God to a generation in a way and a manner that is greater than preaching. It's a reality. It is for a generation. Then we will see his power once again. 
we will not have to read books again to learn of his power we will be the evidence the living epistles a restoration of patterns like Gideon it will no longer be Ichabod where is the miracles that our fathers told us we will no longer speak of that proverb because we'll be living epistles of the possibilities and the realities of the spirit we will influence governments and systems the great will entreat our favor because we carry the karagma the signature of the power the life the glory of god Tonight I have come to blow a shofar over Kenya. And I have come to blow a shofar over Africa. It is true. This convergence is an awakening for Africa. That the season has come. The season has come for that rejected stone. To arise in power and glory. In 2005, I saw a vision of the revival that will come to Africa. I saw the anointing, mantles, living continents to different continents. And I saw that mantle coming to Africa and hiding in people and places that they never knew they were already carrying it. And God concealed it so that it does not corrupt their training. Because there are people, if they know the grace that they carry, it will corrupt their discipline. So whilst you are sitting now, you do not even know the kind of mantle and grace and unction that you carry. It is sealed until the time appointed. I saw the formation of the army. I saw prophetic worshippers rising from Africa. Men who would write songs that were not composed. They would sing the songs of Miriam. Songs of angels received from a realm that is not bound in time. Songs that could not die. I saw ordinary people under the influence of the spirit. Nursing mothers that look like weak people in the spirit. And the power of women like Maria Woodward eat her. I saw them with power arising from Africa. Tonight by the Spirit of the Lord, before I leave your nation, let us give God an opportunity that that which has been locked up in the bowels of prophecy, we will cry that he will rend the heavens tonight and let something that is holy and mighty come from heaven and rest upon our ministries and rest upon our lives we have only few minutes I'll be praying for people and minister will be very fast our time is gone but please let there be a desire tonight if you will please please listen to me keep whatever title aside for a few minutes and let your heart be open to contact something that a generation cannot deny the presence of God listen to me I do not stand as one who is greater there is an anointing I see an angel standing just at the back of um, Shalom there is the, that row I'm seeing an anointing just coming on someone I think one of the ladies there in the name of Jesus I declare right now please bring her here I want to prophesy to her there is a dimension of the psalmistry that this lady is stepping into by the Spirit of God. Bring her, Jesus. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah Shalom Shalom You're welcome in this place Shalom Shalom Jehovah Shalom Shalom You're welcome in this place 
Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Please listen, we're about to pray. Bring the lady that will shout loud under the anointing now to the hearing of everyone. Bring her. You're welcome in this place. Did the Bible not say you are come unto Mount Zion? It's not just a testament. It's a reality that you have come before the innumerable angels the spirits of just men made perfect unto Jesus the mediator of the new covenant my dear I shift you to new dimensions in the spirit I decree and declare that the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon you and turns you into another person by the spirit yeah Welcome in this place. Please hear me. I want to pray for you now. But listen to me. There are three ways by which a generation encounters the anointing for their destiny. Number one, and I want you to listen very quickly. You can get an impartation directly from God through your hunger and through your encounter. But the biblical pathway is through the mystery that the Bible calls impartation. Please listen. Impartation is not anointing with oil. Impartation is the transference of spiritual possibilities. The possibilities that you command are predicated on the grace, the dimension, the mantle that is upon your life. Now please watch this. Out of her now. Release that lady now. In the name of Jesus. Out now. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is. Please hear me. Except God is not God. Any challenge that walk here with you this night you will drop it down here, this place. Impartation is a transference of possibilities. Now, please watch this. Our work with God is based on relationship, but kingdom advance is based on covenant. Let me explain to you what that means. God cannot give everybody just anoint everybody at the same time no when he wants to release a dimension of his possibilities on earth the way he does it is to find a man when he finds a man he enters a covenant with that man that becomes a platform for allowing a territory experience that spiritual possibility and then that man becomes his he, the gatekeeper of that grace within the lifespan of that dispensation no man will access that dimension of grace ignoring that man and ignoring his sacrifice let me show you how it works listen today when we talk about faith and the word of faith start from anywhere in the world it will stop at Kenneth Copeland he is the spiritual system alive today after Hagen that is the gatekeeper of that spiritual possibility. If Copeland dies, God will find another man and enter a covenant with him that represents the continuity of that dimension of possibility. Hear me please. No matter how you love God, there are anointings that will not come to you directly. They will come to you in alignment to men and women that by God's predeterminate counsel, and through the sacrifice of alignment have entered a covenant that allows that dimension of grace to be visible within a territory hear me it is not human worship when he sends a word to Jacob it is because of Israel he does not send the word to Israel he will send it to Jacob through covenant 
and Jacob will take it and make it visible in Israel Elijah was such a man Elijah was not a, a, a man Elijah was a body carrying a spiritual system a spiritual system of the prophetic because every time the move of God is about to come Elijah must precede Elijah is a system the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was in Noah not just the man Elijah when Jezebel the same way Jezebel is not just a woman Jezebel is an antichrist system and she seeks to carry out her rule by sitting in government every time Jezebel is in a place she's looking for men of power because this is how she operates and so Elijah the Tishbite shows up and when he shows up and judges the prophets of Baal listen very carefully Jezebel picks a fight with Elijah and Jezebel vows that she must remove the head of Elijah Elijah goes to heaven Jezebel dies we come back to the New Testament and we see Elijah coming back again in a strange man called John the Baptist we see Jezebel coming back again in a young lady called the daughter of Herodias the bodies disappear but the systems continue and just like Jezebel said the young lady danced before the king and he said what do you want and he said the head of John like I told him I will remove his head I'm still at it again please hear me human bodies may come and go but the system of God is a relay the mantles that come upon you will not start from you it's a continuation of a program the bodies that carry it may come and go but the agenda remains the same this is what God has brought us to do is someone ready to pray are there people that pray in this place please I'd like you to find someone and be serious tonight in the next two three minutes lift a cry to heaven father let something from heaven let the grace and the unction Matasco come upon my life, transform my life. Lift your voice and pray, Kenya. Can you pray? The power of the Holy Ghost turning our lives into signs and wonders. The power of the Holy Ghost shifting men by the Spirit to new dimensions. The power of the Holy Ghost turning businessmen to signs and wonders. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. He said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Shall overshadow you. Man of God shall overshadow you. Businessman shall overshadow you. Someone pray. Pray for your ministry. You are about to receive something. Some of you who travel from other nations pray that the fire of the Holy Ghost will come upon you and you will go back to your nations with signs and wonders. hallelujah hallelujah now please listen to me praise the Lord 
Now, please listen, whether you are inside or at the overflow, I want you to listen to me. Three things I want to say very quickly. Please, whether or not you are an usher, I would like you to help me so that those under the anointing would not injure themselves because I'm going to be asking that you bring certain people out here and if that call is made, then please do cooperate. Number two, I want to plead with you that your heart be open. We have to work with time and I'm going to pray for the sick and I'm going to just speak impartations over our lives. Let your heart be open. Praise the Lord. The first prayer, thank you. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I prayed that prayer yesterday and the Lord is asking me to pray it again. There is a grace for speed. Please listen. Listen. Truly let me tell you this. It is true that there is an unction. There is a type of grace and oil that can come upon a man and put 10 years in one year. I believe. It says and I will restore. He can restore time. The years that the canker worm has eaten. I want to release that grace now. I want you to bring the people out. I'm seeing the number 31. In the name of Jesus. Over Kenya. I stretch my hands. Right now let the mantle. And that grace for speed. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed in business. I shift you speed in ministry by the spirit of the living God. Speed. Hey, Paruta Shalabakata. Receive speed at Rua Conference. Receive speed. Speed. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I release speed, speed by the Spirit of God. Lift your hands. Take that grace now. Now I release that grace. I shift you to a new level in the spirit. This man will never be the same. I don't know who he is. But the Lord is saying to speak to him. That he's rising to a new level in the spirit. I'm seeing fire. And I'm seeing fire coming on people's hands. And the Lord is saying there is a grace. A healing grace is coming over Kenya. A strong healing anointing take that grace now men and women I'm seeing a healing grace bring them out sons and daughters of this land a healing grace strong anointing for signs and wonders Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who is into telecommunications? The Lord is showing me a man here. You are into telecommunications. Will not waste time, please. Um, telecommunications. I'm seeing a woman. You are also into telecommunications. You are, we you are wearing a red dress and you are wearing glasses. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Please come. If there's someone like that, help me search quickly. 
I just want to prophesy over that person. We want to pray for the sick right now. Please make sure you understand what I'm saying. Telecommunications. You are into telecom. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing a grace that is coming on someone. Paruja la sobara has kabarandushiata. A mighty prophet is arising from this meeting. Right now, the Lord is asking me to release a grace. There is a gentleman, there is a dealing of the spirit that you have been going through seasons of fastings and prayer. And I'm also seeing a few ladies too. I stretch my hands, I don't know where they are, but in the name of Jesus. I call the prophetic fountain that is within your spirit. Ephata, be open. Be open. I speak and I call prophetic fountains. Blow the wind of the prophetic. Be open. Ephata, let ministries step into new dimensions. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears by the spirit of God. Who is Juliet? Juliet. I'm hearing a name, Juliet. Please, who is that? We have to hurry up. Let's respect time. Who is Juliet? Please. Juliet, I want to pray for you. The, this is a telecoms lady. You're all telecoms people. Why? Huh? Telecommunications. You're in telecommunications. Let me pray for this young lady. Where do you work? Africa's talking. Africa's talking. Where is that? What is that? It's, it's a company that... Does Come, hold my hands. December, January is your month of strange breakthrough. I don't know this lady, but I'm saying it in the open. I hold your hands and I shift you by prophecy into that dimension. December, January, the spirit of the Lord is saying he's connecting you with men around your industry and it will shift you to such a dimension that you will marvel and wonder in the name of Jesus. Is this how you celebrate what God is doing in Kenya? Hallelujah. Who is Juliet? Where are you from, my dear? Please don't just come out at random. Juliet. From where? This nation? Yes. You are from this nation. Where is your mother? Uh, she's at home. I want to pray. We need to rebuke sickness. Amen. Are, are we together? Your mother has started complaining of pains. Yes. Pains around her body. Do yes. I know you? Have I ever seen you? No. But I'm seeing that the devil wants to bring an attack of infirmity over your mother. But here at Roar Conference 2019, the Bible says when the enemy comes like a flood in judgment, the spirit of the living God will raise a standard. I speak and I prophesy to you by the hand of God Almighty, let every plague of darkness be shifted now and for you step into a new anointing. Right now I release you into that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What do you do, my friend? You are into telecoms. I will pray for you. Are you in this nation? In this nation? Because I'm seeing you travel out. I'm seeing you have something to do with UK. I want you to take note. God is taking you to UK. He will prosper you, even by His Spirit. I stretch my hands towards you, and I decree and declare by the Spirit of grace, be shifted to that dimension. In the name, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick shortly, but I'm hearing the name Evelyn. Evelyn, who is Evelyn? I'm hearing a name Evelyn. I'm hearing a name Evelyn. 
What's her name? Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come out because you feel like coming out. We'll pray for everybody. We don't have time to prophesy to everybody. Grace of God. The name of someone's church, there is grace of God. Something that has to do with grace of God. Who is that? I don't know if you're a pastor. I'm seeing a name like grace of God something. Something that has to do with grace of God. Who is that please? Please if you come out let me. You are at the back. You are wearing yellow. Something that looks like yellow. This, is there someone like that? Come. Where are you coming from? Hold on. Where are you coming from? Behind the, yeah. What's the name? You are a pastor? Yeah. What's the name of your church? Tabernacle of Grace. Grace. Yeah. Okay, that's your wife. My wife. Your life is about to change. I don't know you, but in the name of Jesus, I decree and prophesy. Step into a new dimension. Take that fire. Now, in the name of Jesus, I open up the wells of the Spirit. Madam, you are entering the level of favor. I'm seeing what came on Esther coming on you. And I speak to you by the Spirit of God step into a new dimension of grace i shift your ministry by the spirit do ministry with integrity and may god take you to heights unimagined in the name of jesus christ there is a pastor from uganda the lord is is there a pastor you are from uganda who is that person please you are a pastor you are wearing suit with something that a light tie pastor from uganda a suit who is that person is there someone like that you are from where Uganda where are you from please don't, don't let's not make this place rowdy someone help me just control if I prayed for you you can just please politely go back to your seat so I pray for you you are a pastor in Uganda you pastor your church you love Jesus hold my hands I shift you to a new level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, you will never forget this conference. The weakness in your spirit, man, taken by the grace of God, be shifted to a new dimension. Where is the pastor that just left here now? You came for this conference? You came alone? Yes. You came alone? No. I'm seeing two people. Huh? with my PA. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't speak English? You came with your PA. Even your PA needs to be prayed for. Where is he? Come. Hey. Sorry, sorry, where are you? Is he here? Sorry, John Bosco, where are you? That's alright. Let me just pray for you. We have to save time. Sir, I don't know you. I don't know what it is that you do, but the hand of God is coming upon your life. And the Lord is going to shift you. The teaching grace in a mighty way is coming upon you. And I'm seeing grace for signs and wonders. Listen. All of these prayers, they are not a call for licentious and careless living. We are tired of all this nonsense in the church. We need some level of order and discipline and dexterity. So please do not mistake this impartation as a license for carelessness. We have abused the prophetic. We have abused the apostolic. But God is restoring order and restoring the patterns of God to the church. Just because you are anointed does not mean you should be careless. Africa, listen to me. Several people have risen in the prophetic, in the apostolic, and we celebrate and thank God for what they have done. But if you do not manage the grace of God with character and godliness and discipline and self-control, when we allow the flesh to override these giftings, we end up messing up God's program and then it does not bless people. So please do not think this is one of those men of God who has just come to add to the confusion. We are a remnant that have come by the power of God to set things right, to anoint and then to add with it the character of the spirit the love of the spirit I pray for you my friend look at me I lay my hands upon you serve him faithfully and may God shift you to levels untold man of God I pray for you by the spirit of the living God I just saw the angels of the Lord moving around this road that's why there are two people the power of God is coming on them right now. Just this row. I just saw like the angelic. Please bring them out for me now. 
Erama Sulata Siada Haruda Silataida Kasuba Haskaria Tabusias. I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Step into a new level of grace in the name of Jesus. Where are, they, where are you coming from? Huh? I mean, all of these people, you are, you are ushers. You are ushers. All of you are evenings. My God, the person who shouts among you under the anointing is the one I'm speaking. No, 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 no. This is by the Spirit. Bring her. This is the one I'm talking about. But I will pray for all of you anyway. I release you by the Spirit of God from every captivity that is not of the Christ. I pray and I declare by the Spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end right now. And for all of you, two of you hold your hands together. You and you. Two of you. I stretched my hands. I saw oil coming on two of you. I release you into this grace now. This man and this woman. Step, drink of that grace. By the mighty power of the Holy Ghost. My dear, go and tell your family that at Ruach Conference, God has brought you a visitation. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God. I don't know you from anywhere, but you will never forget this conference for as long as you live. Because salvation comes to your family. Strange breakthrough is coming to your family. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick right now. Please listen. Everybody listen. In every conference, we must give the Holy Spirit an opportunity to take away burdens and yokes from people. I know that all kinds of ministrations have been going on here, but I believe that the Lord would want to set people free right now. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to pray for the sick. And then afterwards, we'll prepare our hearts for the final impartation. Please let your hearts be open. There may not be time to prophesy and speak to everyone and we must redeem the time. We have to honor the time people have come. They have invested their time, their energy and we have to make sure that we conserve and we do the best that we can do. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. Now I know many people may have come from there but I'm seeing two people. Two of you came. You came as friends from South Africa. Where are they? Um, if they are here, let me just pray for them before I pray for the sick. South Africa, where are they? Celebrate Jesus. You came from South Africa? You are pastors? What do you do? You are a pastor. What do you do, my dear? I want to pray for you. Are you a pastor? I'm seeing a businesswoman. Huh? What do you do? Uh, I do road construction and recycling. I want to pray for you. Two people will meet with you before the end of this year. They will be part of a project that is ongoing in South Africa. The Lord will use it and lift you in a strange way. You see, listen. Prophecy does not only reveal. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. There is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic. And the goal of the revelatory dimension of the prophetic is to sponsor faith. To be able to reveal to you the details to the end that your faith be strengthened. Are we together now? But the most superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension of prophecy. Where you make things that have no business happening to happen. When the prophet said by this time tomorrow, he was not revealing something that would happen anyway. He made it happen. I want to pray for you woman of God. I do not know you, but in the name of Jesus, your life will never be the same. There is a grace that is going to come upon you for burying women. This is what the Lord is revealing to me, number one. And then number two, I'm seeing the grace of an intercessor coming on you in a very strange dimension. 
you are a woman of prayer but I'm seeing a higher level you will see things at a national level in the place of prayer this is what the Lord is revealing to me I'm going to pray for you can I pray for you very quickly before we pray for the sick father shift this woman to a new dimension in the name of Jesus let me pray for you my dear in the name of Jesus I give your business wings in the spirit rise to a new dimension by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, I program a climate of favor over you and I declare you will step into possibilities you never dreamt possible. I grant you access to the hearts of kings and I compel in the name of Jesus that they will come to you. They will bless you for the name of the Lord and for the advancement of his kingdom. Let's pray for the sick. Now please listen. We're going to do it very fast here. Um, I know that many of you inside and at the overflow and those following online are trusting God for all kinds of miracles. I'm going to pray for you now. And all I want you to do is to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest as a sign of faith. We have to conserve time. So immediately I pray for you and I rebuke that devil. I'll give you an opportunity. Let's spare even if it's five, ten minutes. And we're going to have those that have been healed and touched and delivered very quickly. Is it alright if we use here? I'm going to ask you very quickly to come. Please let me have a few pastors. Okay, Pastor Pete is here. And they'll just check you. We'll take a few testimonies to announce to the realm of the spirit that Jesus is still Lord over Kenya. And when that happens, we'll do the final impartation and we're done. Is that alright? Now, please lay your hands, everybody. Let's pray. Believe in the power of the Holy Spirit to heal and to deliver. Now, listen. There are two people who are going to shout under the anointing to the hearing of everybody. I don't know why this happens. It's a sign and a wonder. But the moment that happens, the healing power will begin to flow. Now, please agree with me in the name of Jesus. A loud amen, Kenya. In the name of Jesus. 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 I command every devil of infirmity. Right now, be gone in the name of Jesus. I cause every spirit responsible for any and all forms of infirmity the lord rebuke you in the name of jesus now i declare to you kenya be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus please help those under the anointing be healed in the name of jesus my god miracles are happening the lord is healing someone you have a problem with your neck the power of god is touching you right now I declare healing in the name of Jesus. The Lord is healing someone of pile. Very painful condition of pile. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And seeing someone who cannot hear. Is it that you cannot hear or you cannot hear well? On your right ear. I command that ear be open now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Multiple lumps around your left breast is going now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is healing a blood condition. I'm seeing a blood condition that the Lord is healing. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lower back pain. Just right here. I sense a very sharp pain. The power of God is touching that person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman, there's severe pain around your thigh here. The power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Someone has a very sharp pain around the shoulder here. That pain goes right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There is a swelling ar around your abdominal region here. I command that growth to disappear now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me someone you've been sensing pain here it looks like appendicitis the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now i'm seeing a gentleman with um i don't know if it's a growth 
around your throat, your thyroid area here. The power of God is touching you right now. Don't worry, just receive by faith. In the name of Jesus, I declare be healed now. I command every blind eye here, partial blindness, complete deafness, blindness, be open now in Jesus' name. Every deaf ear, be open in the name of Jesus. If you are here and you are in a wheelchair or you are on crutches, throw that crutch and stand up now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, the Lord is showing me severe pain around the chest here. When you get up in the morning, you almost, you cannot lie down on this side to sleep because the pain is severe. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is someone, you lost your sense of smell. You cannot smell things. Right now as I'm praying, it's been restored right now. You will begin to smell perfumes. The power of God is touching you right now. The Lord is showing me a lady. You've been having a severe condition of your hair falling, almost like a cancer patient. I'm declaring, be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Now, don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. One, two, three, four. I'm seeing four people. Don't come out. Um, what the Bible calls the issue of blood, whether it's the period of your monthly cycle or not, you will have continual flow. As I'm praying for you now, after the prayer, go and check yourself. It stops forever. In the name of Jesus, it stops forever by the power of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three, four, five. You've been without a child for five years. Who is that? One, two, three, four, five. I'm seeing like five years. Who is that person? I just want to speak to you without a child. Make sure you are married. Are we together? Come. Your time of salvation has come. Don't cry. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is. Husband, this is your wife. I'm prophesying to you in the open. In the presence of all Kenya. I will not put my reputation on the line for nothing. But I stand by the God of heaven. And I speak to both of you. I stand by the God of Jeshurun. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the medical condition is. I speak to you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing something like a chain around your womb being loosed. I lose you now. 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 By the spirit. Help that woman. By the spirit of the living God, I prophesy to you, go and return with your children. Return with fruitfulness. This lady too, I declare over you, it's over now. I'm seeing a spirit out, out of her now. You're, you're trusting God? I won't ask you to come out again because um, it, it, all of you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. So let's pray. Pastor, get ready to dedicate so many children. Be free now. Now, in the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit. I release you right now. I'm declaring by the spirit of the living God. My friend, look at me. This is your wife. Both of you. Madam, lay your hands on your stomach. I curse that devil now in the name of Jesus. I release you from every whatever report the doctor said to the man. Man, I change that report now in the name of Jesus. And I declare by the spirit of the living God, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. My sister, look at me. Don't cry. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. It's over. Go and return with your child. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you from? Huh? What is Taita? Taita. What is that? 
is where you are coming from. It's a place in I'm hearing Ta is it Taita? Yes. That's what I'm hearing in the spirit. Yes. Where are you from? Taita. Taita. The Lord is listen. I'm speaking to you. You see, when God reveals like this, it is to strengthen your faith. It is not to show that a man is anointed. No, we are only stewards of the mystery. It is Christ that deserves glory. Even whilst he glorifies his bride, then we are not careful. Let me tell you, Kenya, listen to me. Africa, listen to me. There is nothing we have in ourselves to make any boast. What you see is the election of grace. And as we minister by the Spirit, we must be intentional about letting men see Christ lifted through our ministration. It is easy to want to draw the attention to yourself. But we are mentoring a generation. We are not only ministering. We are correcting wrong approaches to ministry. It is very easy to brag around and make it look like it is Apostle Joshua Selman. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I am a man. I'm a vessel empowered by the Spirit. The one who deserves the glory now and always is Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, let captivity come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. That's not a shout. Our daddy said to shout, she's afraid. Jesus! She doesn't even know why she's shaking. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit. It lets you go now and forever. For all of you standing, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is on you, my dear. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Two of you. I'm seeing an anointing coming upon you. In the name of Jesus, be free. I curse every devil. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I declare by the Spirit of the living God and according to the time of life, return with your children. In the name of Jesus. For all of you who have stood in for the fruit of the womb. I decree and declare. It doesn't matter whether I speak to you specifically. You just believe. Oh, this is your wife. The man is drawing his wife and saying, you can't, you can't forget us. What do you do, sir? Um, I serve at uh, Papa Center. I serve at Papa Center as oh. a protocol. Okay. And I work uh, for a company doing uh, transport and logistics. No. I'm seeing you starting your own transport company. There is a grace that is coming on you. Listen to me. There is a grace that is coming upon you. And I'm seeing you float your own transport. Don't ask where the money will come from. That's, that's, no, no. Mm -mm. If you will believe, then you will see the glory of the Lord. I know you are here for the issue of fruit of the womb. Don't worry about that one. God is prophesying something that will bless you. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. You will start your own company and the hand of God will rest upon you. He will prosper you even in this land. Madam, I stretch my hands and I declare that it is over. In the name of Jesus Christ, for all of you standing, I pray with you and I agree that it is over forever. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Let's pray. Let's finish up our prayer for the sick. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the Spirit of the living God, be healed right now. Shout amen. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Whether I mention your case or not by the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed right now. I'm telling you the anointing of the Holy Spirit is setting people free. Now this is what I want you to do. While we celebrate Jesus, we have just five minutes for this. There are people inside and outside. Check yourself now. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Come and stand here. A few pastors will confirm you and will take the case. Celebrate Jesus. God is doing mighty things here. Look at miracles happening. My God. Look at miracles happening. Kenya, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. There's a deaf ear. Look at this. A deaf ear has been opened. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Check yourself. Look at a miracle has happened here. Another miracle has happened here. Hey, Baruta Salabakatos. Hey,
Baroske Baratosh. Check yourselves. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. There's someone you could not walk with your left leg properly. Check yourself now. Life and power has come to your limbs. Please, very quickly, celebrate Jesus Kenya. God is doing mighty things in this place. Hallelujah. Let me know when we are ready to just take a few. Just coordinate yourselves. And then let's, let's hear what God is doing here. Listen, please look up. Miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed. I taught you yesterday we are witnesses. A miracle is a reply over Satan's assault. From God through man to creation that I am still God. Are we together now? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, go ahead. She has been asthmatic from when she was a child. She came into this meeting with a lot of pain on her chest. And right now the pain is no Completely. more. Completely. Breathe healed. in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Look at this. Come on, Kenya. Come, my dear. In the name of Jesus, never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. She had a lamb in her breast. A lamb. A lamb on her breast. Okay. Yes, when she came to this meeting. Give her the mic. My dear, what happened to you now? Pardon? What happened to you now? I... I could not, uh, I used to feel pain here, but when you mentioned about uh, uh, someone who a has lump, a pain, yes, yes, yes. I, I had what that, happened yes. to you now? I can't feel pain. No pain, it's feel, gone. Yes, yes. Jesus. It's gone. Jesus. The power of God is still touching people. The Lord is showing me so, a woman. You are an elderly woman. I don't know what challenge you have with your your lumbar area, something that has to do with your stability, pain around your side. Check yourself now. The power of God has touched you. It's gone and gone forever. Gone and gone forever. My dear, in the name of Jesus, be healed completely. Mommy, I could not be able to lift this particular hand. She couldn't lift this hand. But right now, she can lift it. Ah, come on now, Kenya. Look at this. You can even see the hand. Put it down, mommy. Put it down. Lift it up. Put it down. Lift it up. Put it down. Ah, give Jesus praise. She's crying. God. Hold on, hold on. Please come. My God. You can, you can see how twisted the hand. Pastor, you can see it. In the name of Jesus. Over now. Man of God, this lady has been deaf on the right ear. She's been deaf. And she has a report, but she says... Let me see the report. Look at this. This is her report. For how long? How many? As long as I can remember. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Majesty. Majesty. Man of God. Yes, sir. This gentleman here. Come, my dear. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. One of this man went through. He's a rape victim from his uncle. He says he he's a rape victim. Oh rape God. victim. He said he was about to go in for surgery in the coming week because of pains that never went away. He said as he stood there, the pain all went. Completely. Come. I command that spirit. Hold my hands. And that devil to leave you now and to leave you forever. Be free now and be free forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free forever in the name of Jesus Man Christ. of God, man of God. This lady has been going through severe pain. Severe pain. From Monday. From Monday. Yes, when okay. she came into this meeting, the pain was still there. But as you were praying, the pain is gone. The anointing is on her. Look at me, pain my Pain is gone. Look at me. Tap the lady for me. The pain is gone completely. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus, never returns to you. Never returns to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Man of God, this lady had having numbness on her left side. Numbness on your left side. Yes, and some pain when she came to the meeting. As you were praying, the pain is gone and the numbness is Madame, no more. run, run, go, run. 
Any pain. Any pain. Do what I'm doing. Come on, Kenya. Give Jesus praise. Glory to God. Glory Complete. to God. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus, never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please. Man of God, this lady has been experiencing back pains for the last two weeks. So when you declared someone with a back pain, back the pain, pain disappeared. Completely. Yes. Check yourself now. Bend down. Good. Up. Any pain. Anything. Completely. Yes. Give Jesus praise. Never returns to you again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Man of God, she's had multiple lumps on her left breast. Multiple lumps. And Let her speak. Go ahead. Give her the mic. I, have, I had. What's your name? My name is Mercy. Okay. Multiple lumps on my left breast. Even if you hug me tight, I'd feel a lot of pain. My God. But I can't feel Completely. Totally. It's gone. Totally. There is a strong anointing on you, my dear. And in the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to you. Let every door that stands close before you by the spirit of prophecy, I declare it open right now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. Do your best. Come, I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the old go. I open you to the new by the spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Jesus, the son of the living God. Jesus, the son of the living God. Man of God. Let's take one or two more. Yes, Man of please. God, this woman came here into this meeting with a lot of pain on her joints. Her she, joints. She could not stand for long because of the pain. But after the prayer, the pain is no more. She's Completely. healed. Completely. Check yourself, my dear. Any pain? She's smiling. Come hold my hands. Lovely people. Kenya is a wonderful place. You smile a lot. May God bless you. I receive that anointing and I take it back to Nigeria in Jesus' name. We also smile, we're happy people, but I mean, you smile at another dimension. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, now, I don't know, we may not have the time, my God, time is, is, is gone. I know that we want to take some more testimonies, but I sincerely apologize. We'll have to stop, so I just do the impartation. Our Excellency is here, there are a number of people here, and we would not want to keep them for um, unusually long, but then you have your testimonies i'm sure that there should be a system where you get it across to the pastor and then you share the testimony here at the church or whatever assembly that you come from i want to do the impartation as we round up now this is where everyone must receive let's pray The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Thou shall anoint Joshua. And he anointed Joshua and he said, Thou shalt take some of your honor. Honor is transferable. You shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him. And the Bible said this, that Joshua was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses laid hands on him. Please listen to me. An impartation does not mean you are weak spiritually. An impartation is a privilege of the transference of dimensions, levels of the anointing. Every possibility in the kingdom is not only sponsored by the anointing, but sponsored by the level of the anointing. Please look up. Let me give an illustration. Uh, I think I have some money here. Look up, please. This is a hundred dollar bill. Everybody, please look up. Now, I don't know how much that translates to in your currency, but this is 10,000. Now, look up, please. If you have a $100 bill, how many of you know that this can grab you a very good meal? Amen. This can grab you many things, but this may not buy a car for you. Yet it is money. So if what you want is lunch, this is sufficient. But if what you want is something that is a house or a car, you will need more of this. It's not enough to be anointed. The extent of the anointing determines the extent of the possibilities. So, Apostle Peter is speaking in the house of Cornelius to the Gentile church. And he says it this way. Chapter 10 and verse 38 of Acts. 
how God anointed not just that Jesus was anointed look at the extent to which God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil and the Bible says for God was with him it is not enough to be anointed you must be anointed to the degree to which every condition that comes is within the jurisdiction of your anointing to solve Listen, you are not a blessing until you are anointed. It is true. As a man of God, you must sustain the level of grace that is higher than every challenge your members will come with. That way you become a blessing. If out of hundred conditions you solve two, you have failed. Even if the two testify and make a big deal out of it, so meetings like this are systems of upgrade for some of you what you need is a greater level of the same anointing for some of you what you need is another dimension just because you carry the healing anointing does not mean the anointing for favor is upon you please understand the same key does not open every room but it's called a key just because you have the key to the kitchen does not mean you have the key to the restroom if what you want is food you are safe but if you want to use the restroom you will need keys the anointing is that way now watch this please i want to do the final impartation i apologize let me have four people gentlemen never forget this illustration for the rest of your life any four gentlemen just scatter yourselves around watch this this is how paul says it please stand here sir he said and god is able to make all grace everybody say all grace. all grace that means you can have some not all call this the grace for wealth and abundance call this the grace for favor and influence call this the grace for speed call this the spirit of wisdom for instance just because I have the grace for wealth and abundance does not mean I have favor. The proof of favor is not money, it's the loyalty of men. The heart of men is the proof that you are favored. Watch this. I can be blessed financially. I have a dimension of grace. But when I need to make decisions because I lack this fortitude for wisdom, it will show in my life. So here's what the Bible says. God is able, all of you come to me, to make all grace, hold my hands, abound towards you, so that ye, having all sufficiency, the sufficiency is a product of this multifaceted dimension. So I, when my challenge, if I'm faced with a financial situation, I project the grace that solves it. If I'm faced with a situation of wisdom, there is a grace. Some of you have some graces, but there are dimensions. Your results show the deficiency of certain graces. So Paul says in Romans chapter 1 and the 10th verse, he says, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established I came before, but now I come again because your stability is my concern. Are we together? So that when we receive this, it will be a profitable conference. You can go, you know the grace on your life by the possibilities that, it, that your destiny commands. The testimonies that recycle around your life are a report card to the kind of grace that is upon you. Until what is upon your head changes, what is around you will never change. Thou anointest my head with oil, but the result shows in my cup. He does not anoint my cup, he anoints my head. I use my cup to see what is on my head. If what is on my head is overflowing, the cup will be overflowing. Is someone ready to receive? Praise the Lord. Bless you gentlemen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now watch this. I stand by the grace of God and I stand as one who has been privileged. It's an honor to do this that I do for your nation and for Africa. It's an honor 
many of you here are great men and women of God, veterans of the gospel. I do not downplay your sacrifice with the Holy Spirit. I understand the dimension that has been committed to you and I honor it with all my heart. I only stand as one who has been graced by God to be a communicator of this spiritual mystery. It is not a show of superiority by any means. It is simply the privilege of God's grace granted unto us his apostles and prophets to be the dispensers of this spiritual reality. But then that your heart be open to receive and then it will change your life. I pray for you now. In the name of Jesus. The anointing for revelation. Listen. Accurate understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom according to Luke chapter 1 perfect understanding I release that grace take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now shout amen come on Kenya take that grace now take that grace in the name of Jesus take that grace in the name of Jesus hear me man of God I release you to a new dimension of revelation. Insight into scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I pray for you. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power, so that your faith will not rest upon the wisdom of men, Sophia, but the power of God. I pray for you, the dimension of spiritual possibilities that makes for signs, wonders, kamakato shalai. I see that anointing coming on people. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. hear me the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows i want to prophesy to you and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the grace that distinguishes you i release that anointing upon you I release that anointing upon you in government in business I set a mark of separation and I command a distinguishing of your life and destiny in the name of Jesus hear me the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon please listen Kenya all blessings come from God through men to men nothing comes from God directly to men from God through men to men the distance between you and your next level is a helper of destiny hear me no helper of destiny comes on their own they are called by prophecy let me speak to Kenya I prophesy to the north to the south to the east and the west of Kenya every helper of your destiny between now and the end of 2019 I call them into your life now I call them into your ministry now please hear me let me speak over your finances there are three levels of wealth the first level of wealth is called transactional wealth. This is the wealth that comes by providing value, turning it into products and services and selling it with excellence to a targeted consumer base. That's what you call business. It is called transactional wealth, where a reward is authorized for selling your value. The second dimension of wealth is called transformational wealth. Wealth that comes by reason of the lives you have changed. You provide value but you don't sell it you dispense it and the law of rewards makes that every time you dispense value whether it is sold or given for free a reward must be authorized to come to you 
For instance, the reward a man of God receives for changing a man's life. But the third dimension of wealth is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by prophecy. Wealth that comes by the finger of God. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet they were preserved. He said, believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established. And believe in his prophets. If you stand tonight to believe this word that I utter, I tell you your finances will change like day and night. I stand by the God of heaven, the helper of men, and the giver of all good things. Between now and the next 90 days, can you hear me? I speak by the spirit of God. Like the ark of God in the house of Obed-Edom. I provoke abundance to you. I provoke abundance to you. I provoke abundance I provoke abundance to you. Hallelujah. We are wrapping up. Let me pray for your spiritual life. If our hope is only in this life, we are of all men most miserable. Please listen to me. God is looking for people who will be serious with him. Not just people who will use him. There is a hunger and a passion and a fire that must never die in your life. Let me pray for your prayer life. I don't know what took it down. That the hunger, the passion, the zest. In the name of Jesus, fire from heaven. Fall on your prayer life. Fire from heaven. Fall on your prayer life. The grace to fast. The grace to pray. Take that grace, Kenya. Take that grace, Kenya. Listen to me. I pray for you for the grace for character. That you can stand before a million dollars. And if it violates your conviction, you can walk away and not feel bad. I decree. There is a grace that teaches men to say no. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. CEOs with character. Men of God with character. Business people with character. Career people with character. Every business represented here, I provide wings in the spirit, rise to a new dimension. Every church, every assembly, every mission agency represented here, we are using pastor's church to speak over the church in Kenya. Regardless of limitation, I speak to the church in Kenya by the privilege of the election of grace. Rise to a new dimension. Rise to a new level. Signs and wonders. Salvation. Fire. Apostolic kingdom driven teachings. Mentorship of believers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the government of Kenya. It says to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We bless God, her excellency is here. Standing to represent the government. And the former vice president is here. We honor you sir. We use both of you as the witnesses. To pray over Kenya. That in the name of Jesus. Kenya, hear the word of the Lord. Rise to a new level. Economically rise to a new level we place the anointing upon your parliament we place the anointing upon your social economy we place the anointing upon education we place the anointing upon media we place the anointing upon family we place the anointing upon the religious circles hear me i declare by the spirit let the name of the lord be exalted over Kenya. The length, the breadth of Kenya is submerged under the influence of the spirit of grace. Finally, I pray for every member, every partner, every financier, and everyone who is part of this ministry and part of this vision 
The Bible says a laborer is deserving of his wages. I stand by God, joining my faith with your pastor, alongside all the men and women of God that have been used upon this platform. We stand under this corporate grace and we pray for everyone who is part of this church and this vision. Rise from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. We declare that the least among you will be as great as David. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the sound of mourning and the sound of weeping not be heard within your vicinity again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor. Thank you so much for the invitation. I thank you and your dear wife in the presence of Her Excellency, His Excellency, the fathers of faith in this land and the church within Kenya. Thank you, Kenya, for receiving me and receiving us all. I love you with all my heart. May you go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. God bless you.